the, uh, the legal system, when we talk about legal, it's, it's according to the law of lawyers. It, and we've already explained that legal is to collect. It doesn't mean law. If we're talking about the Bible and, and truth, that's what's laid down and established. Um, legal is based on a monetary um, mammon situation um, that needs a lot of mammonites to join. And so uh, the lawyers, of course, um, have created a legal title that they had to ensure was on everybody so they could collect on them. It's a big collection plate. Um, and at that point, we have to realize that um, because they're dealing with this idea that you could actually be harmed, and they're always putting fear into you, so they're barking at you all the time uh, to make it seem like you could actually be bitten in their world. But they run on uh, indentures. They really don't have teeth, and they take a retainer. Um, so the retainer keeps that those teeth from really biting, but um, they're really just eating up the money. Um, they're not really capable of biting you, but when you believe um, that you have that title, well, then you're going to be in fear. And you're going to try to defend that title. And anything you've ever put in that world of registration with that title, you're obligated to defend because you're acting as the surety for the title. And all they're doing is running around uh, collecting on all the chaos amongst all the participants. So never expect a lawyer to ever give up the reality or the truth on this because he only speaks in fiction. I will come up one day with a, with a book, probably an A to Z of what I found um, I won't call it a dictionary, I'll call it a fictionary, because that's the best way to describe what's going on right now. So back to the fictionary um, of thought. The, uh, what exactly are these registrars of public records doing? Well, when we, read the, um, when we read basically this one cover, this authentication that was placed over a long-form statement of birth record uh, that was filled up by the parents in the hospital... The authentication office from the Ministry of Government Services um, states in there, uh, it'll state about the party involved. So in this case, at that time, the Deputy Registrar General was Judith M. Hartman. It says, this is to certify that Judith M. Hartman of the Ministry of Government Services, so she's in the Ministry of Government Services, in the province of Ontario, whose name is subscribed to the annexed certificate of particulars of record in the office of the Registrar General of Ontario, is the Deputy Registrar General of the Province of Ontario and the officer having custody of records of the vital statistics in the said province. Then, it's, then the party that's involved uh, from government uh, services states uh, when they put the seal on this to authenticate the seal of that government official, uh, it says, I further certify that the facsimile signature is that of Judith M. Hartman and the seal, an impression of which appears on the annexed certificate is the seal of the Registrar General of the Province of Ontario, and that faith and credence are due and ought to be given to such signature and seal in all places. Certainly, they didn't say that they said to give um, basically any kind of uh, faith and credence to the contents of the document. They're only talking strictly about this, the seal of office. Um, so we have to be able to read what's there. Don't read what's not there. Don't assume things. Don't read in between the lines. You've got to read what's there. They've actually told you exactly what they're doing. So when we go to, um, we know that they're in custody. They're dealing with public records. So this is taken from a Florida website, but it was just dealing with public records and law. And we all, all these nations are all following uh, the same standards. So it makes a statement. When a public record contains information that is exempt from disclosure. The records custodian, which would be in this case for the vital statistics and the office of the Registrar General, that would be the Deputy Registrar General, the records custodian must redact the exempt information and disclose the remainder of the public record. Okay, so... They're really telling you that there are some things that are exempt from disclosure. Now, we've already talked about that the child's given name is private. It doesn't belong to the public. It was given by the parents. It wasn't given by the state. Um, and the parents really don't have the authority to give the surname because that's something that was always assigned by the state, the public state. It was not something 
that's assigned by the parents. The parents may think they have control of it, but they really don't. They're just using it. So what is private is not supposed to be in the public. I think this is a pretty simple thing. But when you consent to put your private in the public, that's very indecent exposure, which can get you in a lot of trouble. So I'd say you, you need to start covering up your privates when you're in the public. And of course, because they're dealing with someone innocent and they're doing a documentary, right? It's a nice little document. So it's a documentary. This is very documentary and very fundamental. They fund a lot of mentals who don't get this. Um, but the key thing is, it's a documentary and they change the names to protect the innocent. So the innocent really, his name isn't supposed to be there because the innocent is the one who has nothing to do with it. And the child really had nothing to do with it. And truth has nothing to do with fiction. So truth should never have been on that document, especially within the title of the child's name. So therefore, it was never required to be on there. And that's why in the hospital, when they actually uh, create the, you know, the band, they like doing it with everybody. The Federal Reserve does it. They always band things up. They put the native bands in the Federal Reserves. And uh, so they did it to you too. So you're in a Federal Reserve also, symbolically. But they put a band on the child. They put a band on. It kind of represents an abandoned child, uh, an abandoned title. But the band on is all put on the left wrist of the child. And of course, they never put the given name of that in the hospital on that child. It's always... If, it's the, if the child's name, and it's a boy, and it's Smith, it'll be Baby Boy Smith on that band. But it won't be Baby Boy John Smith on that band. Or if it's a girl, and her last name is Smith, then it, would be, it wouldn't say Baby Girl Jane Smith. So we have to really realize what they're doing. And of course, they put it on the left. It's very interesting, this concept of putting it on the left wrist. Well, because it's, because it's not right. So they can't put it on the right. They put it on the left. And because Jesus said he would separate the sheep from the goats, and the goats would be on the left, and they have kids. And so generally, the, the slang for people in the world of materialism are called kids, because they're goats, because they come from stubborn people who don't want to understand what I'm talking about. So we hope that you understand that they are responsible to redact it. But if you're allowing that record out there, you've caused the problem because you pushed play in ignorance because you were ignorant of the fact. Ignorance of the law is no excuse, but ignorance of the fact is an excuse. So you had to be ignorant of a fact, and a fact can't be a fiction. It can't be a supposition. So you must have been ignorant of the fact that the state didn't have the right to have your given name in there. That's a given. So on the record, they had the right to which was public, because on the record is official or public for tax purposes, because they are a taxing regime. But the given name is private, and so that's off the record. So when generally people say, I'm going to speak off the record, they say, well, I'm speaking in confident, confidentiality, and it's not going to be on the public record. But when you go into a court or anything you're doing, you're always putting something private on the record. And because they need proof of that with your consent, they go, you go in camera. And in camera means private. So it's evidence of your consent to actually allow that to happen. And then that allows them to assign on the public state title name onto you, which would be the surname. And then, of course, that re meaning a debt or a debtor-in-law under the use of the words agnomen or agnomination, that means a debtor, a debtor. So uh, certainly, how could you ever win in that game? They need to know who's going to be the surety for the debt or the debtor. And, of course, they need someone who's ignorant and dumb, and that's why a dummy is one who holds legal title for another. So you're just, if your name is, think you're using John Smith, you're John holding legal title for another, and therefore you are the, you know, the dummy. And therefore, unfortunately, you are not really familiar with the facts or the law at this point, and you're walking blindly into this. So... This is a really, really, really um, confusing and complex journey for a lot of people. And in fact, in many cases, um, they're thinking um, that they can still um, play in that sandbox uh, without getting hurt. Um, that they're going to have legal title um, doing exactly what they're doing and somehow they're going to be tax-free. 
Uh, it just wouldn't work that way, and you know that wouldn't make sense. If you were never a member of the club, and then you join a club, so all these citizenships are clubs, and if you don't follow the club rules, they'll club you. they got all those enforcement officers out there. And in fact, that's the reason they state behind the whole purpose of the birth registration system and the birth certificate system is for law enforcement. So what is on record and what is off record? So on the record would be only the surname, off the record is your given name. But if you're allowing your given name to be on the record, you're the one who's speaking it, doing it, and causing it at that point, and therefore you're the direct cause of your own injury. Um, it's, it has to be slowed down, okay, in your movement out there, because most people getting into trouble are have their feet way ahead and their brain back here. Um, so they're running into pitfalls um, because of a lot of just bad knowledge on the internet right now. So we're just trying to correct things with truth and and, under, and comprehend what's going on in the fiction. But um, without you doing your due diligence, you're going to lose this um, because you're going to lose the race uh, because the race is to the swift. Um, and so right now they've got a really good understanding of the people that are out there um, as part of their human race in the contest, and they know who wins. Um, but you're not going to win um, without knowledge. So uh, we hope you take the time on this, review these last few videos because they have a lot of very solid knowledge, and I took a little bit more time in these videos to explain things, but you're going to need to go over it and over it because you've probably already got incorrect information in your head and you got to get that out of your temple.